welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors, Cooking with Eeyore. That's right, I'm going to be making today baked ziti, two different dishes, one with me, one without me. And I'm going to get started simply by cooking up four boxes of rigatoni noodles. That's right. I call it baked ziti because back in the East Coast you can buy ziti noodles. Here they don't have ziti noodles, but rigatoni is just the same type of noodles. It's just called something different. So I guess you could say I'm making baked rigatoni instead of baked ziti. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boil up all four boxes of my rigatoni. To boil the rigatoni, I'm just going to put some water in a pot and add some salt to it. After I'm done boiling the rigatoni, I'm going to dump it into an aluminum baking pan. Two boxes into each pan. Okay guys, so I'm back. We boiled the noodles and we got two big pans of noodles ready to go. Now I'm going to cook my sauce. I'm going to make one pan of ziti without meat and one pan with meat. Here's the meat. Here's the sauce. So I'm going to dump a jar and a half into the big pot behind me with no meat in it and let that cook up and then I'll mix that in with the noodles. So, here we go. There's one jar and I'm going to turn this upside down so it'll, a little bit will go to the top. And there's about a half a jar. Okay, and we're going to just cook this on a low to medium heat for a couple hours or for about an hour for about an hour and then we'll mix it in with the pan of noodles that I have right here okay guys so the first set of sauce is done I am going to take that pan of sauce and I'm going to pour it over these noodles just like this. The whole pot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this all together so that the sauce is covering all of the noodles. And then you're going to take mozzarella cheese. And you can buy the bricks of mozzarella, or you can buy shredded mozzarella. I bought shredded mozzarella this time. And you're going to sprinkle the mozzarella over this. So the first batch I'm going to mix in so it's down inside the baked ziti so that it's nice and cheesy in there. And then you're going to take a nice, generous amount. And you're just going to sprinkle it along the top. I'm going to cover that with cheese. And then I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. want it to be too tight because then the cheese will stick to the aluminum foil and you don't want that to happen because then you'll lose some of your cheese. So that one is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to set it in the oven just for now even though I'm not ready to turn the oven on yet. And then I'm going to get my second batch ready. And what I have to do with that is I'm going to brown some ground beef. And then I'm going to add it to the sauce. And then I've got my little frying pan here. I wish I had a bigger one, but I do not. And I'm going to put a little bit of 
olive oil in the bottom of the pan just so that it doesn't stick. So, I'm going to turn that on. Okay. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to get the oil all spread around in there. I'm going to turn my sauce back on to medium low. Put the lid back on that and let that cook. I'm going to put the meat in here. Now you can use different types of meat. You can put sausage in it. You can put turkey in it. You can put pepperoni in it. You can also make a vegetarian one by adding all types of vegetables to it as well. So now I'm going to let this, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. And I'm going to let this brown up. Okay, so my meat is now all brown. So I'm going to take that off of the heat. And I'm going to add that to my pot of sauce here. I already drained the grease out of it. And then I'm going to mix that in there. That's making a really nice thick meat sauce which will go right over the noodles. Okay, so we want to let that cook up for about 45 more minutes, 40, 45 more minutes. And then we will add that to this pan of noodles with some cheese. Very, very hot because it just finished cooking. I have to do this in a little bit of sections here. Let's start with that first. I like to use the aluminum pans when I make this because then it's easy cleanup. You just throw the pans right in the trash. Okay, there's the rest of the sauce. Mix that all in there. That looks so yummy just as it is now. <laughs> I am going to add the mozzarella to this pan of ziti and then put them in the oven. Let's get a whole bunch on there to mix into the ziti. Make it nice and cheesy. It's not easy being cheesy. And then we're going to cover that with aluminum foil. Again, you want to cover it loosely so that it doesn't stick to your aluminum foil while it's baking. Bottom rack has the meat. And we're going to bake that. Uh, bake on 350 for about an hour. And then we will taste it and let you know what everybody at the bridal shower thinks of it. We'll catch you all a little later. So Kirstie's here now to taste the baked ZD. Yes. So. I'm going to give this bad boy a try right here. It's the baked ZD brick. Yes. Has really good form to it, huh? Yep. Nope, oh, that's a little much. No. Nah. Okay, here we go. We got noodles. Oh, bad. Here we go. Give it a try. Good. Really good. Really, really All good. All right. And it was a success at the bridal shower. Yes. Oh, I don't know why I end up doing the end of this thing, but that's uh, the end of another nibbling. I hope you liked it. And uh, we'll see you next time on Nibbling with the Neighbors. Bye.